What is up you guys? It's your boy DJ Leo back with another tutorial. Let's talk about transpose today. Now I'm going to be using my 25 key axiom which is made by M Audio. Now this is made with a hyper uh, control system which allows it to interfere interact rather with your softwares and all that so before we get into that if you're new to the channel remember to subscribe and hit that notification button leave us a comment in the comment section below give this video a thumbs up if you like the video and then let's get down to business <laughs> Alright, so we in Reason right now, as always. So I just loaded a strum guitar here for demonstrations. Anyway, this is the Axiom MIDI I was talking about. So it's right here. Then this is what we're going to use. Now, this has a built-in hyper control system, which helps me to connect and interact with my software pretty much easily. I can, I can play from here. I can stop, I can record from the MIDI controller and stop, all things like those. So there is a transpose function in most of these MIDI controllers. Now, if you have this uh, blue screen here, which is the LED, I guess, let's just say it's a display that displays all the functions that you do on the MIDI controller. You place anything on the MIDI controller is going to um display what you're doing on it so if i go left to my midi controller there's a uh the pitch bend this is the pitch button there's uh the modulation button right on top of the here there's these two buttons now these two buttons when you place the right one here it takes you up an octave and then the left one takes you down the octave so if i want to go to the bass side the bass side of an instrument i'll go to my left side like here then if i keep going further to the left i'm gonna get to the bassy side right if i go far to my right i'm gonna get to the higher notes right something like that so where does really transposition comes in well um this is something great you're gonna learn you're gonna learn today and if you apply it to your music each and every day it's just gonna transform your your creativity now transpose will be defined as uh, a function or two that helps you to play pretty much every key in one key if that makes sense anyway um you can play a c in a d scale that's what transpose transpose helps you to do that's what transpose helps you to achieve now if you're good in playing in the key of c you don't have to know how d plays out or what scale of g whatsoever now an artist can be singing in the key of g but what you have to do is keep at the key that you know best and just transpose it to that key that that artist is sort of like performing so for example i can play something like right so let's say my artist is not in that key right so what will you do music theory is as hard as it gets now transpose will help you in that type of way now i can still play in the same keys that i'm playing now but change the the actual key that i'm trying to play um to make it sound better let's put it like this um i place these two buttons right here at once it will give me the transpose uh, option and function, like I said. Right. So if I place it, right, right now it's on negative one. 
so if i drop it down a a transpose right if i drop it down like this to a negative two and play the same thing i was playing it's gonna play in a different key like this right let's go quickly and change the transpose again to another key just to make sure it's really changing those keys so i press again and uh, say to a negative three this is what's up right so you can play in all the keys that you know a g a b a whatever b minor whatever whatever in just the same scale but changing the transpose now the transpose goes as i think negative 12 to a positive 12 right so it's a wide range of what you can do now it really plays in the same detail into your daw like i said because of the hyper control and then when you record those keys into your session it's gonna go with the transpose information as well now let's give it an example of how it will look like now here i'll keep playing the white keys only but when we go there you're gonna see it's gonna be different to what we will be playing okay let's go ahead Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Okay. Okay. Let's go into the piano row so we can have a closer look. Um, so to have a closer look in here, you say control A. Let's control A select everything now you can see the scale here it's unlike what i was playing you can see um it's in a different scale because what i was playing is this so the blue keys shows what i was playing because of that transposition function the information and the data placed in your daw is the one of the transpose function right so this is what i was playing right so let's try another example i have this one right i'll mute it and then let's do another uh transpose uh so i'll go back to my midi controller and press that transpose option again um then i go to minus six let's try minus six and see how it sounds like same same thing right all right let's get a closer look into the piano row now if i say control a you can see it's a different scale from the one i showed you previously all right this looks like this totally looks something different you can see i hit all the black keys and only two of the white i shouldn't forget to mention your keyboard or midi controller should have that function at hand most of the midi controllers i've seen they have this uh function right here on this octave uh button um the work as the transpose buttons as well now if you want to use a transpose function directly in reason this is how you do it simple as this first you're gonna have to play the key right you play just play it in any key and then you do the transposition later like here we played already the, the pattern let's check Now, if I want to transpose this because it's already played here, I would just highlight it and go to this uh, window, 
make sure you bring out your two window right so what you do there you go to a transpose okay let's go to uh pitch here right so here you have transpose as you can see it is a negative one right but now if i want to transpose this say to a plus six i'm gonna have to do a plus seven over here right because it was already negative one so i'm gonna do a plus seven to get there right so if i apply this this will go to a seven <laughs> Now, let's say this is too high and I want to go back to where, uh, to something else. You going to have to count it down nicely. Now, if I go back here, um, or let's say for instance, I wanted to go to another octave like plus eight or plus nine. What you're going to do is add on that seven. You're not going to, you're not going to add here a plus nine because that will take you so far um uh, you get lost to where even it got you but since we were already on a plus seven what we have to do is add that remaining two that's remaining so what i would do is go back down and add two octaves on that seven that is already added there so if i apply here it will shift from that seven with two steps a transpose so if i place it Now let's say I want to go back to zero, right? If I want to go back to zero, I'm going to have to calculate, right? Do your calculations. So if this was a positive nine, that means I'll go back, I'll go back a minus nine, something like that. I'll go back a minus nine or eight, somewhere there. So if I apply there, I'll go back to where I want it to be. So guys, it's as simple as that. Transposition can be fun. Now you can do this to a couple of uh, uh, instruments at once, then you can do it. Or you can do it before with your hyper control if you have that function available in your MIDI controller. Face, it has to be available in your MIDI controller. It has to display and show you that you can do it on your MIDI controller. If you can't, do it in the software this way that I've just showed you right now. So it's as simple as that. And guys, that is it about transposition transpose function rather if you use that and apply it in your music every day it will change the way you make music i tell you now don't remember to subscribe and hit that notification button leave me a comment yeah man until i see you next time you guys stay blessed <laughs>